Hey man, got a random favor to ask. But I ordered a bunch of dog whistles for my dog sitting business, Woofy Wax Enterprises, that I operate on the weekends. Looking to build up our inventory with some really nice equipment. The problem is, all the dog whistles are being delivered to the office today at 3 p.m., and it won't be there to receive them. I'll be out at a conference with the boss today. So, can you meet the DHL guy in the lobby when he makes a delivery in sign for me? I'm aware I shouldn't be having personal things shipped to our office, but the delivery was actually more affordable if I had it shipped to the office. Just keep this between us, okay? The label on the box should read, Podcasto Exports established in 2008. It's a huge pet supply business in Sweden that you might have heard of. Since the whistles are imports, I've obviously invested a small fortune on them. So, if you have a second, Please open the package and check the receipt with the invoice and make sure everything is all set. There should be 200 dog whistles in there. You don't have to actually count them to see if there are 200, but if have the spare time. Since the whistles are imports, I've obviously invested a small fortune on them. So, if you have a second, please open the package and check the receipt with the invoice and make sure everything is all set. There should be 200 dog whistles in there. You don't have to actually count them to see if there are 200, but if you have the spare time to do so, please be my guest. There should also be one free item, a luxury leash made of leather, that they added to the order because it was so big. Nice of them. So open the box, and if you don't see the leash, just text me so that I can duck out of the meeting and call them to make a complaint. Thanks, man. I owe you a beer. And remember, if you want to join us at Woofy Walks and make some extra money on weekends, I guarantee I can convince my partners to bring you on board. Since I have a passion for working with Pat, my strategy is to build up this side business so I can quit real estate and I'll hopefully transition over to Woofy Walks full-time by the middle of next year.